The battle wages on as we speak. While you're wasting time with delusions of power, your men are risking their lives fighting the Conqueror. You will call for a ceasefire and make sure the Conqueror's troops retreat. Silence! I don't have to listen to you. I will control the remnants. Only I am fit to do so. Remember, I have the Marshal Girl. Don't you care what happens to her? Arena! Don't worry, Rush. He won't do anything to me. If I die, Marion's blessing goes with me. Shut up! Go ahead. Try to kill me. You haven't got it in you, do you? You're nothing but a coward! Impudent wench! <laughs> him listen <laughs> what's so funny did you honestly think that someone like you would have the power to manipulate the conqueror you are as arrogant as you are foolish what are you saying I would run if I were you unless you truly wish to die Kill them! Kill them all! What? Are you sure? Huh? huh? My goals have been met. You are now unnecessary. Be gone! Lord David, Wagram's intent had been... I know. He merely feigned loyalty to Duke Emion. We have no time to worry about that now. Our first priority is to get Irina to safety. Rush! <clears throat> I'm okay. <laughs> Ow! It's yours. Mom says it'll watch over you. Mom and Dad are waiting for us. Let's go home. Okay. Mm okay. So now we're here. Which is apparently Wormski. We're gonna save again over that, which is gonna complain that we have to defeat a boss again. So there's a final boss here. I don't have a map for this area. Is this the map? Because that'd be awfully convenient. Oh. <laughs> that actually was the map. Alright. So presumably Boss Man McBoss Bro is right over there. We're gonna go ahead and explore all of this, if possible. Before we actually leave this area. And we did get all of our digs back, so I could have actually used all of them in the last spot, but whatever. I don't think we were getting anything we needed from that area anyway. Are there no enemies here? There appears to be nothing here. Except for treasure, which frankly, this is my kind of area. We don't even... Oh my god, we used a lot of relaxing herbs. We don't even have room for all of these, I don't think. No. Most of them. Not quite all of them, but most of them, so it's not too much of a waste. The fact that they're giving you that should be... There's no enemies and they're giving you restorative items. That should be... Whoops. That should be a fairly good sign. I'm not going to cut through the middle. It's a dig spot. Come on out. Damaged okay, shield. I'm not going to cut through the middle in case that triggers some sort of event. We'll just go back around to the south side. Cut up the other side. 
cut up the other side. That's not how that phrase goes, but that's how I've decided to use it, so we'll continue onwards, as if that never happened. Any more dig points, I wonder? Hopefully there are, because just a damaged shield out of this place doesn't seem like much good, to be honest. This feels a bit weird, going down this way. There's nothing here. This feels like there should be stuff here, but there's just not. At all. Anywhere. Oh, you know what this is. This just occurred to me. This is where that uh, cutscene really early in the game was, where we saw them, like, feeding Arena, or while well, trying to feed Arena. This is where that was, isn't it? I say that because the hallways remind me of it. Alright, well... I guess we'll cut through the center here, see what's going on. See if there's a dig point on this side. Doesn't appear to be. Was there really just the one dig point here? Oh, this is just... Everything about this area... is not good. Alright, well... Make that save again, right there. Worms Keep Cherry Pavilion. This is, this is it, I suppose. This is the final boss of Disc 1, or the first half of the game, if you prefer. It's actually more, slightly more than half the game, if you count actual story content, but as far as discs are concerned, it's the end of Disc 1. You've got a pair coming all the way out here to save your sister. Too bad there's no way out. That's what you think! <laughs> and there is summon number two of three, so we see two immediately. The third one, I think, we won't, we're not going to see for ages. So we have Jaeger, Lob Omen, and a bunch of friends. Those two are obviously the bosses, these guys are just trash. Now somebody... I would have preferred to have our summon friend in this fight, but somebody has to deadlock Jaeger. Sadly it appears it's gonna be Rush's troop, because I'm an idiot, for one, but also... We're gonna go ahead and... Send the other two to the left to start picking off some of these support unions over here. The bigger support unions, no less. Let me actually... Uh, I don't actually know anything about this fight, so... I don't know if he's just gonna sit there and wait. I have my suspicions that he's not going to sit there and wait. We'll attack Jaeger, sure. Um... And I guess we'll attack those two. I suppose that'll do for now. I don't know what the summon's going to be doing during this fight. Oh good, he used victory cry. So we technically didn't need to actually attack him this turn. Unless that was his start of turn move and he would have gotten an action anyway. Which it seems like he would have because he actually intercepted us, which is bad by the way. Because he intercepted us, it means we have two unions attacking him now, and only one attacking... Oh good, he knows B-down still. And only one union attacking the support guys. Which intercepted us again, because that's how this game functions, is via interceptions. It's like American football, except more exciting, if I'm going to be honest. Caustic Blast would be pretty good around here, I feel. Wait a second. We have two people attacking support units. What's going on with the interceptions in this fight? I'm very confused. We've been intercepted like four times. We only have three unions though. Oh lord, hello. How are you? That is Blaster. Good. Fantastic. Blaster is crazy variable damage. That union might die. Russia's union's alright, but the other one might die if they get hit by something else. Which they did. Nice dodge. Nice not dodge, but you didn't die, so that counts for something. 
Um. Ugh, I hate these half-baked mutant puns. I'm actually gonna tell them to turn it around. They're all right. You guys hang in there. You guys are not deadlocked. Um. Should I kill Jaeger? Ye sorry, Jaeger, not Jaeger, or Lawbowman first. I guess I should probably focus on Lawbowman. Probably has less health. I think be our shield for now. Hopefully that union that's heavily damaged doesn't end up dying because I've decided to keep them in deadlock instead of running away. This is gonna hurt. And of course it blacked us out, but... Reassess the heal for me, buddy. Never mind. Don't do that. We're running real low on health on multiple unions here, which is obviously not good. So apologies there, I bit of a burp. How palsy sky? And that's an AOE. Ew. Come on, finish them off. That's not a good AOE if you're curious. And of course I told them to defend, expecting them to attack and be attacked by this guy, but he's already taken his turn, so obviously doesn't matter. So there's Talisman's gift. It's all right, I guess. They are not deadlocked. There's a union over there. The only talisman Ziff he can get is on Jaeger, which I don't care about right now. So play it by ear on those guys. You guys are still paralyzed, so... Hang in there. Um... Play it by ear. Just so that, you know, if they feel so inclined, they might actually heal, rather than attacking. If you tell them specifically to do something, they'll specifically do that or reassess to something similar. But if you tell them to play it by ear, stop with the flank attacks. Can you not deadlock this thing? I swear I've been deadlocked. This seems like it's gonna hurt, though. I swear I've been deadlocking this thing. Yeah, that hurt just about as much as I expected it to. How did we get intercepted? How does this keep happening? Weakling. I don't understand. I do under- I kind of understand, but Jesus. Every time we do something, we get- we get flanked by somebody or something or something- somewhere. Alright, so everything's dead except for Lob Omen and Jaeger. Maybe we should focus everything on Jaeger? You guys need to revive anyway. Hoping he uses, I'm hoping he wastes his time on a big attack here when we've used Omni Strike, which means we're just gonna dodge anyway. Which he did. Which we didn't dodge. Apparently you can't dodge beatdown. Hello. This Lob Omen is the most annoying thing. Wow. Known to mankind is that. We need to get our morale back up, which means we need to start hitting stuff in flanks and all of that nonsense. And also stop dying, that would help tremendously. Which Rush's group is probably going to end up doing, unless we can get Talisman's Gift all. Let's have you guys... You guys go pick on Lob Omen for me. Thirty Cry is going to lower morale, but there's nothing we can do about it. Provoke does no damage. And we resisted it anyway, so... Not like it mattered, but here we go. I think we've already seen Talisman's Gift. To be a tough guy. So Jaeger's actually already in critical, I just noticed that. This freaking... <sighs> Lob Omen is the most annoying enemy we've faced. I think it's just ignoring deadlocks, because even if we deadlock it, it seems to break deadlock to go punch someone in the flank. Earth Render. I don't think we've ever seen Earthrender used. I wonder when he learned that. And of course, we can't uh, flank this thing. And of course, we have a dead union going into a new turn, which is bad. Because. I think they're dead anyway. Yeah, they died. Because uh, Jaeger's not. Jaeger is not deadlocked. 
turn it around, bring them back. Hopefully Jaeger doesn't grab that second group and instead decides to hit this one. I don't know if that hit Jaeger. I don't think it did, but mayhaps we have gotten so lucky before. Lobowin has a lot of health. And they did get raid locks, which means they're going to get beat to crap. Nice dodges. And that also means they're not going to revive. Which sucks. But they may end up killing Jaeger if they get just enough damage here. Which they did, conveniently. So now all that's left is Lob Omen. You guys, keep your HP up. Oh wait. Are you, yeah, you're David. Keep your HP up. You guys bring them back. Because they're still dead. Which is obviously not optimal. And now Lob Omen's the only thing left, and we appear to have locked it down into a deadlock, finally. It took freaking long enough. It was just running around constantly. Maybe because Jaeger was still alive. It was running off to help him instead of fighting something else. Thank you. Could be it. It would seem logical. It is his summon. I'm pretty sure that's his summon. Pretty sure that's how that thing works. Uh, at this point, I do not believe it matters. I believe we can push out so much damage in a single turn that we shouldn't need to worry too much about healing. Although it's not in critical yet. This is a much easier fight than the Gate of Hell, by the way, if you haven't noticed that. Because you don't get horribly screwed over by having dead unions. You do get, you know, obviously there's a downside to having dead unions in the fact that they're dead, but they're not going to come back and try and kill you. Effectively kill you. Not just try to kill you. If they attack a union, they're probably going to kill it. Thankfully, though, they kept attacking the summon, which has a ton of health, so we didn't have too much trouble there. If they had been, if they had decided to attack other unions in that fight when they were enthralled instead of the summon, we would have been screwed. Either way, he's still not in critical. This thing has way more health than I was anticipating. Jaeger didn't have very much, is why I thought this thing had little. I suppose it is a summon, to be fair. There's the critical. And you probably can't poison it, because it's probably immune to, like, every known status ailment in the entirety of the universe. But it should die this turn. Don't underestimate them. At the very least, it's going to be very close to death if it doesn't end up dying. Nice block, my friend. I was going to say nice blaster, but I prefer you actually hit the blaster that does, like, two damage instead of the one that does a thousand, and that didn't die this turn. God dang it. Oh well. I wonder how close it is to dead. Not as close as I thought so far. Really not as close as I thought, and this is gonna hurt. Thankfully, all of his attacks seem to only be Union attacks. And not actual AoEs. If that was an actual AoE, that would be a very devastating attack. Not bad. Whoops. Always with the X when it's Y. Always. I don't know why. And once again with the Lucky Blasters. Got that. It's kind of a cool enemy. I like how it attacks with like the floaty arm sword bits. There we go. It has been done. We are, we are done with disc one. We've learned Permafrost 3. Yeah! Mm. Little by little, I hope to and rejuvenate this and dragon's use. flight battle style has grown. Hooray. Eleven thousand gold, which isn't very much, and scholarly band, which improves evocations, which we will probably be giving to someone other than Rush. At some point, we're going to be giving Rush a ton of intellect stuff instead of uh, AP stuff. Probably much later on when his base AP is already really high. But uh, anyway, the rest of this video is likely going to be cutscenes, I suspect, so enjoy those, I suppose. Now, let's go!
Troops. <laughs> you know you can use your precious remnant to wipe us out and prove Athlam's strength to the world. The battle has just begun. Let us enjoy it. You wish to continue this nonsense? It's useless. They don't get what we're saying. He... he plays by his own rules. He's almost there. Groes, Castanea, finish this. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> You're strong. But I... Rage! I can't... I can't lose this fight! Yes. The truth is inside you. Remember your true self. <laughs>
Is the power of Marion's blessing? Thus, half a year passed. After taking control of the Congress, the newly appointed Chairman Gore deemed Lord Wilfred M. I. in a casualty of war. The official story was that after the Conqueror killed M. I. In, the Conqueror's forces were destroyed in the subsequent fighting. Without an army to fight, the war was over. However, the scars left from the war had cut deeper than we'd thought. Violence erupted around the world, and the Lords, frustrated from the abundance of futile efforts, devised the ultimate plan. The Remnant's powers were to be used to suppress the violence. Suddenly, the Remnant's meant to protect the people were being used against them. However, the Duke of Gaul did not accept this. The people had placed their trust in the Congress, he said and it was their duty to repay that trust. Thanks to Chairman Gore's efforts, things finally began to change. He declared that we had to uncover new remnants, something for the people to put their trust into. The Congress spread his message to the people. Their hearts were moved and the violence subsided. A new age was dawning one without the horrors of war. At least that's what we all believed. <laughs>